living on the cheap and trying to figure it out. Thanks for watching. Today's a collab day. Yay, collabs. So today's collaboration, oh wait, before I talk about that, wanna join the Facebook group called How to Collaborate with Your YouTube Friends? Let me know your YouTube name, or Facebook name down below and I will get you to join up, no problem. Doesn't matter if you've got a small channel, big channel, medium, whatever. And we'll get you started on there with the rest of us. So today's chat will be about something that I purchased that saves me a ton of money. So I actually love kitchen appliances and I may turn this into a series, but I have quite a few appliances that I really, really love and I think they've saved me some money. I know they've cost me quite a bit in the beginning, but I absolutely love them. And if you can't afford it now, save up and get one of these as well. Keep watching and you'll see what the first one is. Well, today's collab is about what is my favorite thing that I bought or made that saved, that, uh, saved me a ton of uh, money. So I have quite a few items, so this might turn into a series on my channel, but I'm gonna go with this one because I've been using it the most lately. And it is my Cuisine Art Griddler, or it's called Griddler by Cuisine Art. Um, and it's got three dials on the front, and it's got replaceable uh, plates, which I'll go into details. Um, it can do grill panini on one side, and the other side, I think it says griddle. Of course, you're off. This is the temperature control for the griddle, and the grill panini has low, medium, high, and sear, which is awesome when you're doing steaks. Um, I do a lot of little steaks, like they're about yay big. I'll pop them in there for four minutes, get a nice sear, and it'll be like a medium rare, which I just absolutely love. Now, I'm going to go into details about why I love this machine. This was actually gifted to me. I had been looking at it for about a year, um, and somebody decided to give it to me as a gift, which um, I know this is an expensive machine. It's not cheap. I think it's about $150 here in Canada. Uh, but the plates, it can do pancakes, and you're like, how can you do pancakes on a sandwich thing? It actually lays flat. I hope you can see this. So if I open it up and I press this button here on the handle and I lay it down, voila, pancakes, bacon, eggs, sure, why not? It is a non-stick uh, material, but you do, um, I find that I do spray it anyways. And then you could pop them out, there's buckets for each plate, and as you see, it's a, like a barbecue grill. And so uh, you can do that side. And this machine is quite a few years old. It's only really over six years old now. And we use it every day. I will use the grill side for um, quesadilla, cheese and chicken quesadillas, any kind of quesadilla. I will also use uh, the grills for sandwiches. I will use it for barbecuing. Uh, so like hamburgers, hot dogs, sausages. Um, what else can I use? Steaks, definitely, most definitely. And like I said, I do pancakes on the flip side. Then I went and bought these extra plates. Oh, oops, sorry about that earthquake. Bought these extra plates and these do waffles. And they do four at a time. And so I make homemade waffles probably about twice a month. And I make a ton of them so that my daughter, who's the youngest, and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You just push the button so it unlocks the plates. Grab the new plate so make sure you get the right side up. So the ones with the little brackets is towards the machine. Click it in. It's that easy. Literally, it is that easy. Done. Oops, not quite. There you go. Done. Ready for your pet waffles. And uh, yeah, we'll do this about twice a month. And I actually make three or four times what I need. And I'll freeze the rest and then they can use it as an ego waffle, put it in the microwave or toast it if they want. And that saves time in the mornings that we're rushed. Also, sometimes uh, the extras the kids will take to school with a, a smidget little container thing, tiny container with um, maple syrup in it as well. So how does it save me money? Well, I guess because I didn't pay for it up front. Um, I don't remember how much the plates were. They might've been 60 or $70. But even for the cost of the machine, we've been eating at home a whole lot more because of it, and we're eating healthier foods. Um, yeah, there's a, a big difference with, don't get me wrong, I love to eat out and I love McDonald's, 
but uh, hamburgers, homemade hamburgers or even frozen hamburgers are so much cheaper um, and much better for you. And you think they're not really cheaper. Well, actually, it's pretty comparable to a McDonald's price. Um, I don't pay five or six dollars for a homemade hamburger. It might cost me two dollars, three dollars max. So it does save me a ton of money. So that's one of my favorite items. Um, maybe in the future I will do that item that I like as well. No, not the toaster, the KitchenAid mixer. But that's for another day. So, uh, oh, way too close. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Click here to watch some more videos. Tripped on a cat. Really? Can you see him? There he goes. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty.